Okay, so I'm in the beautiful Osceola National Forest and I am looking for a camping spot that I noticed on Google Maps the other day. If you saw my Instagram story just from a couple of days ago, you'll know what I'm talking about. So I dropped a pin on the location in Apple Maps and now I'm driving to it and it's just a couple of miles that way and I'll be there. So I'm going to see what it is. Maybe it's a great camping spot that I haven't discovered before or Maybe it's just a pond full of alligators. Either way, that's cool with me. I'm gonna check it out now, so come along. So I just passed what I think is like the back door to the location that I'm going to. So what I'm, the spot I'm heading to uh, is, I'll put it up on the screen here so you can see what, I'm, uh, what I saw if you didn't see my Instagram story. So I found it on Google Maps. I'm heading there now. It's a borrow pit, or what some people call bar pits in the middle of the Osceola National Forest. It has multiple forest roads which lead into it, and the one that I'm going to looks like, I don't know, it looks like the one that's gonna be the most fun to drive on, so that's why I'm going there. So I'm gonna check it out now. So another half a mile and I'll be at the road. think I'm closing in on the spot and uh, looks like it might be all right we're gonna check it out we're gonna see if we can drive around it I don't know what this is in this fence over here though what's this in this fence high pressure gas pipeline okay don't start a fire over here uh definitely not no fires in this zone nate dog let's see what we got here okay well we're gonna get out and look around and see there's the back door that i mentioned earlier that's a trail which is obviously very unused that goes out probably that gets uh, cleared out every so often as a fire break to prevent fires from getting to the road and crossing the road and getting into the the forest on the other side of a paved road over there but that's a paved road right out there so this is not looking like a great spot to camp for me right now because i don't want to hear road noise during the middle of the night when people come out here to look for wildlife in the middle of the night let's get out and check this place out so um gotta watch make sure i'm not standing in fire ants this is the place that uh that i came looking for so obviously it's not as pretty as that blue borrow pit that I have camped at before definitely not as pretty and right over there's road noise just 20 yards over that way is road noise so I'm not sure this is a camping spot for me if I come out to the Osceola National Forest I want to get to a completely remote location so you know this is okay this is a neat place to come and honestly something went into the water pretty quickly when I pulled up here so it's possible this is a good place to see wildlife. So, so here, this is something that's fun to do. So, in the middle of the night, in the summer, drive out here at dusk and park, and then just stay in your vehicle and be quiet, and watch and see what wildlife shows up here. You'll be impressed. In this part of the forest, there are a large number of bears. If you go a little bit farther north, you'll see even more, I'm told. So, this may be a good place to spot one if you just park up, Stay quiet, don't get out of your vehicle and just wait and see what shows up. You never know. Look at that bobber that somebody left in, in the water. I don't know, is that, so is that they lost their line and the bobber is there? Or that is they tied up a line, put some bait on it and left the bobber? like a trot line or a bush hook. I'm not sure which one that is, but I'm not gonna mess with it. So it's obvious too that they mow this area. This is kept clear for recreational purposes. These ponds are also stocked with fish. In particular, one of the species that they stock is called sun, sunshine bass, 
which is a hybrid that was bred at the University of Florida, I understand. I'll put links about that in the description in case you're interested. And it was just to stock places like this for recreational purposes for fishermen. So anyway, they stock these ponds with fish so that people who want to come out here and fish in the Osceola National Forest will have something to catch. In case you didn't see that sign earlier, high pressure gas pipeline. Uh, and there was remnants of a fire right back there, maybe 10 feet behind where I'm parked right now. So, um, you know, I'm certain it's safe, but uh, a pipeline travels north to south from Georgia down to central Florida right through this area, and that must be like one of the, I don't know, some sort of station or something where they can close off the pipeline if they need to. Anyway, no trespassing, no smoking. So I'm certain that a nice huge campfire, as I like to make, would not be appropriate in the general vicinity of that spot. So I did find one use that this area is being put to, uh, it looks like to some extent, maybe a great extent, and that is uh, target practice. So this big pile of dirt, at first I thought maybe that was just dirt that the forestry service would use to build up roads and things, but it looks like it is also frequently used as a stop for some target practice, and you can see there's a all kind of trash and there's shell casings and all kind of stuff out here from from previous target practice so you know again this is not looking like a fantastic place to park up and to camp so it looked neat on the map but in reality it's not the spot for me so let's go check out a familiar spot to me one that i have camped at one that i have visited many times and it's a beautiful spot just to go out and do a cook up, drink a beer, and look at some stars and listen to the cicadas out in the trees. Let's go check that spot out now. Even though that spot wasn't exactly what I was hoping for, it was nice to check it out, see it in person. Now, let's go back to a familiar spot and see if it's, uh, is it about the same as when I camped there back in 2019? Is it declining? What is the current situation? Because I want to know. I want to see if I'm going to go back there or if it's been trashed to the point that it's not a spot for me to camp at anymore. Or maybe beyond being trashed maybe it has just been discovered by too many people and it's not a spot for me to camp out anymore i want to show you some uh some animals that i think are very amusing and uh, they're not native to florida but they have been here now for decades and th frankly they're not going away they're, they're Flo florida animals at this point but they're very very they have poor eyesight and they also don't hear hear very well so you can usually sneak up on them so let's see if i can and they carry leprosy, which is interesting, but it's not leprosy like biblical leprosy where, you know, stuff that you think very highly of starts falling off of you. It's different, but still it's dangerous to humans, so don't touch them if you see them in the wild. You can catch them. I did it when I was a kid before I knew about this leprosy thing, but uh, I don't re recommend that you do, so I'm going to sneak up on them now, so stay tuned.
And there they go. I spooked them. So those are armadillos, armadillo. Uh, they are not originally from Florida. My understanding is they were imported here back in the 50s or 60s for roadside zoos. And now they are everywhere. So as far as the Osceola National Forest goes, 235 that we're just passing now is like one of the highways through the National Forest, the non-paved highways. The road I'm on now is County Road 250 and Forest Road 250. And uh, it goes completely through the forest from southwest to northeast. And a lot of the other main forest roads, which are not paved, come off of this road. So. Um, if you wanted to come out to the Osceola Forest and you're in the Jacksonville area, don't be scared to do it, people. I, several times I've told people about the Osceola National Forest, and what they say to me is, well, uh, the trails are just so tight. They're just so, uh, you know, the, the limbs and the leaves and the, the brush against the side of my vehicle. I get that. I do. And, you know, you buy an expensive brand new vehicle, you don't want to scratch it all up. But... Do you really want it to be in perfect shape in five years when you trade it in on your next off-road quote-unquote vehicle? Okay, 286. This is the road that's going to take me to the spot I'm familiar with. So one thing about using uh, just a regular camera to film your videos is GoPro has that anti-shake technology which helps out in the final product of the video. As you will see, this camera has no such technology. Okay, so this is a place that I'm familiar with. I've camped here just right over on that side. Right over there on that side of the lake. It's a little bit cloudy right now. Normally it's beautiful and clear and really it reads blue because of the limestone, lime rock bottom. But right now because of the rain we've had recently, a lot of this white clay is washing into it so it's a little cloudy. Um, when I came up, I saw a little alligator over there and as soon as it heard my vehicle, it, it just completely submerged. So maybe it'll pop up in a minute here. But uh, this is still a good spot. But look at this, people. I'm not on a mission. I'm not trying to tell people how to live. But come on. Come on. What the heck, people? What, what is this? This is the National Forest. It's public land. It's for everybody to use. Not your trash pit. It's not your trash pit. One of the things I really enjoy, if you haven't seen already, is to find tracks. So these are deer tracks.
right off into there somewhere. Anyway, it never ceases to amuse me. Here's more. So uh, what have I got on the roof rack of the Forerunner right now? Well, since I was coming out here, I threw on a shovel and I threw on an ax because uh, believe it or not, I've gotten stuck on a log here before and had to use a hatchet to be free. I'm using my crock hinge for my awning now so that it's a little bit out of the way instead of standing so tall. And I've always, always got my front runner stainless steel table. I wasn't sold on those for a long time, but I love that stinking thing. And it's just always there. And I've got my water port at the very top and it's currently empty. I know I wouldn't need any water today, so I didn't bring any. So this is a road that I've seen alligators in the middle of the road before, and you can probably understand why. We've got this all along the edge of the road, all the way back to the hard road ahead of us. <laughs> 